This is an unboxing. I think something related to astronomy, I hope. But let's open it and see what is it. Okay, let's see what is inside. Oh. Filler, filler. What is this? Oh, an eyepiece. 28 millimeter standard comes with the multi coated uh, eyepiece, which standard comes with the sky watcher, especially Maxitov and the uh, two, uh, two inch barrel telescopes. Oh, let's see. Let me remove it. Okay, let's see what is inside. I had one of these and I was really happy and I wanted one more. And I'm really impressed with this. This looks actually better than the other one I had. Hmm. The only difference is that this one, the top cap is not there. There should have been a cap for this. And let me, I, I like the eye cup for it because it really, the eye can go there, stand there and just uh, uh, comfortably watching the image. Yeah, no, I have removed it. Uh, that's what, what I mean when I say that. Let me just turn on the... Uh, light and see how it looks. Okay, that's the lens eyepiece. Quite nice. Let me remove this cap. This cap here is missing, but the eye eye cup is really nice. Look at the clean image it gives, even in this dark leather. I'm impressed. I have another one. They're not very heavy, so that's good for telescopes, uh, which the, have a for the mounts, which don't have the capability to hold the heavier telescopes. And yeah, it gives a good image. It's 28 millimeter. It has a good eye comfort, distance, eye relief. As you can see, I'm really happy with this purchase. Come on, that's 16 pound for this eyepiece. It's really cheap and good and cheerful. Very good quality. Mm. Yeah, and it's a standard sky watcher. 16 pounds. What you can get for 16 pounds. Anyway, this is a Sky Watcher Sky Max one hundred fifty millimeter. Uh, Maxatov telescope. Uh, it's around seven kilogram with the uh, diagonal eyepiece and uh, finder. This finder I've added of my own, and uh, it's a right angle finder, so easy to look at. But the problem with this uh, telescope and everywhere I have seen is that they say that it needs a very robust, heavier mount, like EQ5 or above. I tried, I read in one of the uh, astronomy uh, forums that actually you can use the tripod for a sky watcher uh, flex tube, uh, Dobsonian mount. I'll show you the telescope itself, the box of it, you will remember. That's the telescope I'm referring to and for the International Year of Astronomy 2009. A special edition. This Dobsonian mount here that you can see at the center is the one I'm using. I must say it looks quite impressive on this mount. And uh, the only worry is that uh, will it actually take a long time to dampen the vibrations that uh, happen when you touch the telescope or a mount or can it do it 
quick enough in under four minutes four seconds sorry okay as you can see I can turn the mount I can move the tube up and down it's quite a heavy beast yeah, it's beautiful and um, yeah I may have found the solution for this uh, the mount of this telescope uh, the, the thing is that when you have a telescope, a heavy weight, anything, at a height, that introduces vibration naturally. So if you get it lower, the vibration will be reduced. The height of it is less. So let's hope that this will work. Okay, this is the eyepiece that came with this telescope. It's lightweight, but it's 2 inch. So the good thing about this also is that this is 2 inch the barrel and the diagonal so let me install it and see how it is the the eyepiece is lightweight this one is lightweight I have heavier than that with half a kilo or more so it's better to use a lightweight one just to see how it is okay I've now installed the eyepiece and uh, of course uh, I have to remove the lens cap the front cap take a look here the telescope is not balanced at this stage so I'm going now to move it along so to make it a little bit balanced okay. the eyepiece added some weight to it so I had to balance it I moved it slightly toward this direction so the weight in this direction will be equal to the weight this direction that's the fulcrum uh, the center of the gravity you can call it also. and hopefully that will stay so I can move it up and down and to the left and right so let me target something Okay, I've now installed my Max Vision uh, 68 degrees 34 millimeter uh, eyepiece. It has a very wide uh, viewing angle. I was, I was really impressed with the image quality on this one. I'm holding the camera. I'm looking forward. That shows the difference between a cheap eyepiece and a good quality eyepiece. So I think I will use the Max Vision with this. It goes better, it gives a better result. It looks heavier adds at least uh, <laughs> half a kilo to the weight but what the heck that's a good 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 telescope needs good eyepiece the telescope is as is as good as his eyepiece and mount and optical and collimation and everything else <laughs> he's a mad hobby 